it's extremely cold. This is the coldest this boat has ever been. We are gonna leave. Found our winch cover in the water. That was lucky. It's uh, blowing pretty hard out here for sure. We're gonna take a brief pause from the cold to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, which is BetterHelp. It's the new year and a great time to work on yourself. I know Jonas and I have been reflecting a lot at the beginning of the year, and we posted a video not too long ago about where we wanna take this channel and where we wanna go with the content that we make. That's a personal goal for us, and maybe you have goals such as wanting to get a new job, or maybe you just wanna spend more time with friends in the new year. Maybe your goals are more feelings and emotions related, like getting more optimistic in the face of challenges. I know we've definitely had to stay very optimistic this week with the cold weather coming in. Therapy can help you achieve these goals, whether that be helping you make smart goals to set you up for success, or maybe it's learning about stress management and emotional management, or help you through any other challenge you may be facing. So with all that, I wanna thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp makes starting therapy easier and less intimidating for a lot of people. BetterHelp can match you to a wide range of therapists based on your needs, preferences, and even locations. To get started, all you need to do is fill out a questionnaire about what challenges you may be facing and what kind of therapist you'd like, and BetterHelp will match you to a therapist. In most cases, you'll be matched within 48 hours. BetterHelp lets you have therapy sessions on the phone, through messages, or even video chat. And you get to choose whatever the most comfortable version is for you. And if you feel like your therapist just isn't a great fit, with the click of a button, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional cost. A lot of people really love this feature about BetterHelp because you don't have to break up with your therapist and start the search for a new one all over again. Join over four million people who are using BetterHelp to live a healthier and happier life. You can use the link in our description or visit 
betterhelp.com slash blue moon life to get 10% off your first month. Not only does it help support our channel, but hopefully it can help you in achieving those goals. We've said this many times on this channel, but we really love using this time of year to help do some reflection and to set some of those personal goals. We really love working with BetterHelp. We think they're a fantastic service and we really hope that they can help you as well. All right, back to the video. Wow. We've been so fortunate to have just an absolutely wonderful winter with, it's really blown out there. We've been so fortunate to have probably the easiest and mildest winter we've had aboard yet. And today is really making up for it. It's been blowing all night. Um, and into the morning we've had like, I don't know, different systems come over with rain and um, luckily it's not too, too cold. I think this is actually might bring some really cold weather, like down to, you know, minus six, minus nine, which is quite cold for here. But definitely lucky. This is the first one we've actually had. I think we missed one. We were just away for the weekend, but it's super late in the season. So maybe this is like a one done thing or maybe winter is just really, really delayed this year. Who knows? I know that the weather um, has been just crazy all over with the strong El Nino. Um, yeah, it's been causing some pretty crazy, crazy weather patterns for this time of year. So the halyards kind of loosened up last night in the wind, so they were banging on the mast. Usually with the first really big windstorm of the season, it kind of loosens all the lines. Um, like the halyards get loose and the dock lines tighten and so they get looser. And so I've just kind of been adjusting all of that. Um, and they should be good for the rest of the year now, but it's kind of funny how that happens. They, they get wet and they kind of stretch mm. out and slowly find their place. And the tide was super high this morning, so I don't know if that helps the wind or, or makes it worse. I guess we'll see as it goes down. Lately, I've been adding sweet potato to my house. Adding these sweet potatoes helps boost antioxidants, fiber, and they're loaded with beta carotene, vitamin C, potassium, and so many other great vitamins and minerals. This time I had a purple sweet potato. I roasted it in the oven and then tried to peel it, which ended up working okay. My recipe changes based on what we have around the boat at the time. Today I kept it simple. First I blended the sweet potato with some lemon, olive oil, and salt. I love how the color changes with the acidity of the lemon. Then I added the chickpeas. More salt. And roasted garlic. I forgot tahini, so I put that in towards the end. And there we have it. Purple sweet potato hummus.
good morning I think the wind has finally calmed down after like yeah a day and a half of just the windiest weather it's so windy like yeah we've maybe had that kind of wind once or twice um, in the last four years so yeah something else for sure um, but I think it's finally calmed down and the latest for our delayed start to winter this year is I checked the weather this morning and we now have an arctic outflow warning so the temperatures all this week are supposed to drop significantly um, I think it's not supposed to get much colder than minus 9 celsius but that is still pretty cold sometimes it just blows over and sometimes it hangs overhead for a few days so we'll make sure we're prepared for that and um, fill our water tanks and yeah sort of provision a little bit just in case and yeah we'll see see what happens snow is starting. I'm curious how much we'll get. Last year I think we got like, got almost a foot of snow. Maybe not quite a foot. Although I remember it, it was, yeah, well, yeah, almost a foot, maybe 10 inches. So yeah, we'll see. They keep kind of changing the weather. It was supposed to snow and then it wasn't supposed to snow. Now it's going down to 10 degrees Celsius tonight and they're not totally sure how long the cold front is going to stick around. We're getting the heat blanket out and bundling up and we'll see what happens. The wind is also picking back up again. It blew in a ton of debris into the marina so I've been, we've slowly been kind of picking away at that and yeah, winter has come late but quick. We've shoved little towels in our, um, the, like the vents in the um, slats. We had foam things from last year, I just have to figure out where they are. So this is making do for now. It actually makes a huge difference blocking, like there's a lot of air that actually comes in through here. Um, so it makes a huge difference blocking that kind of a really cold input and it helps the space heaters keep up a little bit. We probably should have done it a couple weeks ago to be honest, but I always forget about that trick. Jonas just put them in this morning. I've been using this time to try and get some editing and obviously filming done in our attempt to try and get back on schedule. We've been pretty good so far, so I'm gonna try and keep it going. Um, yeah, we'll see where the year takes us. If you watched our video from the beginning of this year, you'll know that we're interested in maybe exploring some opportunities to tell other people's stories and turn the camera around. Um, yeah, we're, we've been really interested in that for a while now. and. And our goal for this year is to try and see if we can make that happen. So I'm pretty excited about that for now. Just sticking to our, our regular content. But um, yeah, thank you so much for all the feedback that we've gotten. We're, we're still going through it and, and 
and it's been really really helpful to know what you want as our audience and yeah the kind of different things that you're interested in so for now i'm just trying to yeah catch up on some editing and um, make sure that we can stay on track for the new year because we're off to a good start so i want to keep that going it's really coming down here it's crazy you can feel the cold air coming in though This window is actually frozen. <laughs> Crazy. Is it moss frozen? Oh yeah, our little moss. Pretty frozen. <laughs> it is currently two degrees in here Celsius, which is, we've, Jonas is here too. Say hi. <laughs> we are a little bit worried about freezing because we're kind of hovering right around that temperature of below zero. <laughs> um, so we just, I mean, there really, there's not much that we can do. Um, we could get the fireplace going and stuff, which would obviously help heat it up a little bit, um, but we're not gonna leave that running while we're gone. So uh, yeah, we emptied, turned off the water pump and we emptied the, the accumulator. So hopefully that prevents any lines from freezing and bursting. And yeah, we're just kind of keeping our fingers crossed. It, it really shouldn't get any colder. This should be the coldest it gets. But we don't know, Other, everything else is fine. I mean, our water tanks are actually under the water, like under the water line of the ocean. So I don't think they'll freeze, but just in case we did, we did turn, we did empty that accumulator. So there's no, there's not too much water left in the lines. This is the coldest, this boat has ever been. I think the coldest I've ever seen it previously was like nine or 10 degrees Celsius, which is not, like it's, you know, it's very, very livable. You just have to kind of bundle up and, and be a little more 
um, cautious about your uh, your body temperature but yeah it, it's cold it's extremely cold and so we're leaving um, going to a sauna we're, go <clears throat> we're going to a sauna and we're also spending the night we're just super fortunate that we um, have a place to stay tonight <clears throat> that is not the boat so we are gonna leave and hopefully blue moon will be okay here can't take her with us so she's gonna have to <laughs> weather the storm but yeah so this this might be the end of this video in fact it probably will be um, they're calling this is the worst of it it's been minus 11 all day with a wind chill of minus 20 degrees celsius um which we've just never had here we've we've had that in other places where you expect a canadian winter but not here so yeah that's all we got the wind's picking up we're gonna go find some heat feels kind of weird to be leaving blue moon but I think overall it's a good call for our own sakes and I mean we're not going very far we can check on her whenever we want um, I mean, it's so deflated and cold. oh wow that's wild so we're the oh I didn't even think about that Oh, everything is so frozen, it's crazy. This is also, it's funny, like we were, said this year is going to be the year that we were going to get a diesel heater. And then it was just the mildest and nicest year we've ever had and we, anyway, we'll get a diesel heater. Holy, those lines are totally frozen. <laughs> 